All right, greetings and welcome to my channel and to this video. If you have bathroom drawers or kitchen drawers that have these long metal tracks on them and they're a little noisy and loud because of the plastic wheels, uh, hopefully we can help you out. We're going to try to get you from something that sounds like this to this. Yeah, although it's not perfect, it is a lot better. Here is the really expensive drawer glide that you can actually buy. And to be honest, these are ideal. They're super, super quiet, very smooth, stainless steel. They've got these greased ball bearings in there, easy to install, but they can get pretty expensive. If you're looking at three drawers, it can run you upwards of 60 bucks or so, including the rear mount uh, brackets if you need those. So uh, the tr in true cheapskate and do-it-yourself fashion, we are going to try to get these things quieter. So we're not going to be replacing them. We're going to be doing some DIY additions. And let me show you what I'm doing here. I am determining where the contact points are because where this noise is coming from is where the plastic wheels meet the metal glides. So what I'm going to be doing is a couple of things. I'm going to need 100% silicone. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to clean these tracks up. You can see they get a little dusty and dirty over time. Plus I'm doing some renovation. So uh, some dust and whatnot had had accumulated on the tracks, so I will take a wet rag and wipe those tracks down, get them squeaky clean. Same with the wheels, get all the hairs off them and whatnot. And I'm gonna need some grease, some white lithium grease, and I will put a link down below for the stuff that I like to use. Here it is in action. We apply it liberally to the plastic wheels. And then I mentioned silicone. Yes, 100% silicone is the second ingredient that I'm gonna be uh, using. I am, don't worry, I'm not going to be mixing it, uh, but you'll see here what I'm doing in just a second. But um, with a my, just my finger, I'm applying it to all of the plastic parts. All the wheels will get a nice healthy dosage of grease. And this is going to increase lubrication. However, that grease over time will not prevent contact from the plastic wheels and the metal track, right? So what I'm gonna be doing next is taking 100% silicone clear, so you can't even see it, and I'm gonna be basically rubberizing the bottom of this metal track. So I'm just gonna apply some right there and just put a, get it really thin, you don't need, in fact, you shouldn't get it too too thick because you don't want the, to prevent the wheel from actually traveling, right? You want the wheel, the plastic wheel, to still be able to travel and glide back and forth, but we're gonna be rubberizing the bottom of it, creating a soft contact point for that metal uh, and the plastic where it meets. Again, it's not gonna be 100%, you're not gonna get the same effect, that silent, silent effect, um, as if you were to replace these with, you know, those silent uh, stainless steel with ball bearing tracks, but it's still going to decrease the volume and decrease that cheap sound uh, significantly in my opinion. So we're going to get that applied um, to all of the bottom level tracks again where that plastic wheel will actually come in contact with the metal. Rubberize that and you're going to let it cure for a good 24 hours before you do anything to it. Now's a great time, by the way, to make sure that additional rattling is not happening. So tighten up the brackets in the back and on the sides. And once your silicone is cured and dry, I'm going to be applying some more nice, smooth application of lithium grease to the top of that rubberized silicone. And we're going to be spraying the ball bearings of the joints or of the actual wheels, all of the wheels with some WD-40 or some type of penetrating lubricant. And take caution, of course, not to damage. That stuff will drip off and damage your wood potentially. And we'll go ahead and get that put back in. Make sure it's on the track appropriately. And we can test the sound out a little bit. Here's the uh, that original and the fixed. So it's not perfect, but a nice do-it-yourself trick if you're interested in reducing some of the sound that your drawers make. Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself home projects and product reviews.